What's the crack, Les? Welcome back to the channel. Just doing a quick video on the actual progression points. A lot of people ask me about this. I'd already done Maldini, but I hadn't shown the progression points. And now we have Mateus and Czech as well. Huge shout out to Ron. Obviously a good friend of mine as well as a big supporter of the channel. This was in the National Guardians pack. We had to go super deep. We got Maldini. You can check out the full stream. We got Maldini in two spins, checking the third spin of 900. And then Mateus, we had to go super deep for him. So GG's to Ron for that. Now I'm going to show you my builds, but also I want to just talk about a little bit of the builds as well. Um, especially Maldini. Maldini is unbelievable in my opinion. If you have other versions of Maldini, you might struggle to actually, you know, like find way better, you know, way better comparison with him. Um, but this Maldini is insane if you don't already have a Maldini build or a Maldini player that can do it all. Now, this is more geared towards a tree at the back style Maldini, or else if you are going to be going sub tactic, something a little bit like this. Obviously, we can change the players around or whatever, but Maldini can go into a left back position very effectively if you just want to hold on to a lead. And obviously, you can just switch off um, from, you know, Pirlo there, you're going to be subbing him out or whatever. That's not a big, a big issue. Um, but Maldini can definitely do that as well as a defensive option, right? So the build that we've gone for him here. It's not really an attacking option or an attacking left back. It's mostly for a three at the back or else a standard four at the back, center back or left back that's going to be defensive first and foremost, right? So he's going to be slightly different to Ben White, who's more of an attacking option, um, or Trent Alexander or Philip Lamb. This is just a straight up center back playing very meta or playing as a left back that's going to be super defensive. This is the build. I think this is the best build for him. Honestly, I've tried out a lot of builds on the stream. 90 speed, we tried that out with the 85 acceleration. I honestly don't think you need more than 85 speed, 80 acceleration, and 75 balance. I think the, the trick to this build, honestly, is his physical contact being at 85. And that's going to determine what way you train this card. Takes about 100,000 XP. Um, 1 into passing, 3 into dribbling, 6 into dex, and then 8 into lower body, 9 into aerial strength, 13 into defending, and 1 into goalkeeper 1 to bring that jump up to 95. It's a very, very solid card. Now, I would definitely recommend as well, if you are going to be giving Maldini any skills, right? I would, I would definitely recommend that you do a legacy transfer. And I would 100% recommend giving header or else aerial superiority. They're the two skills that he's lacking. Probably most of all, I would say, um, aerial superiority is going to be huge on him. So if you do have that and you can give it to him, that is going to be what I would recommend, right? Now, Mateus is kind of a slightly different player, right? This build that you're going to see on screen here with a 90 acceleration and 96 balance and 90 type possession. I feel like that's probably where you need to go if you're looking for an attack and build. He doesn't need more than 85 low pass. His dribbling at 77 is a bit of a concern, but you could take a little bit out of dexterity if you want to go that route with him, right? But that is the build that we were absolutely cooking with today. He's got 80 finishing. It's a very nice card. All the builds you're seeing here are with the Champs. Um, so he's going to get the boost to speed at 85. But that is the build that we went with there. Very little into aggression. Now, the fact that he has got an orchestrator play style, that is a bit of a concern, right? Because if you reset him here and you just want to go for a defensive build, you can get his defensive stats quite high. In fact, you can get him really high with 11 into defending. You're going to have him all plus 90, right? You don't even need to go 11. Uh, you can go 10. Sorry, that's my bad there. So the free reset is still ongoing um, and it will be for probably forevermore. But that like card there straight off the rip with just boosting up his kind of base core stats, 7 into lower body, and 10 into defending. You're going to have all the defensive stats, including aggression at 92 and defensive engagement at 90 and defensive awareness at 90 with 85 speed. You can then also, if you're going to be taking him a little bit more defensive, you can pop four into acceleration. That's going to bring you to 80 and 85 plus balance. And then you can decide where you want to put the rest of it. That's probably a more well-rounded build, to be honest with you. If you're used to playing with um, Pirlo, I think you could go well with this build. Honestly, I do think that you can go well with this build. And also the fact that you can get his tight possession quite high. This is a very unique card, especially if you want to go to dribble into 80, if you're going to be a little bit more adven adventurous with going forward or bringing the ball forward with him there. 93 tight possession. You've got all your defensive stats where you want them to be. You can go low pass as well if you want to. You can max that out. I do like this card. I think that there's a lot to like in this card. Um, especially if you train him up a little bit more defensive there. You're going to have 90 low pass and lofted 93 tight possession. It's a very good all-rounder. However, the problem is with this card, if you're looking at it from a more in-depth point of view, the problem with this card is that his play style is going to counteract what he's doing. You'll need to give him blocker. He does have interception, but 
he's going to be a little bit less defensive than his other versions, even with all the stats that you see here. So there are the two builds that you saw there of him. And then last but not least, very, very simple Petr Cech, right? Absolute unit in the goals, beastly. We'll pretty much defend for you from the posts, between the posts. And that's what we've gone with. 7, 11, 11. That's going to bring up his goalkeeper reflexes to 99. Awareness to 95. And his jump at 75. And with this height, you don't need jump or reach as much. But still reach is 97 because it tracks with the others. So let me know. Now one thing I will, will say, right? People are going to ask me about this Mateus here. The box to box versus this one. Now the build that we have got here is very similar. It's a defensive minded Mateus. They are very similar. So if you have got either version, I think you'll be fine. Um, but obviously, it's very, very similar. Like, it's too close to call with a lot of these builds. If you have one version of a card, is it really worth going deep for another one? That's up to you guys, honestly. But yeah, it is It is difficult to understand, um, you know, if you want to actually get a lot of these cards. One touch pass on Mateus would be huge as well. Um and low lofted if you're looking for an attacking build or else blocker, you know. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads, for me. It's just a quick video with the progression points. Let me know what you guys think. Copy these builds if you're struggling. But it is mostly for possession, right? And also playing with the shams, you can play both. These builds are so good that they work on both systems. So, I will chat to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Just another quick video. Talk to you in a bit. Peace.